Hey, this is Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials, and welcome to what I believe is HTML5 tutorial number, beginning HTML5 tutorial number four. So we're going to go over a little bit of semantic markup. And semantic markup is something that doesn't really change the structure of the page, but adds extra information to the page. So this is a semantic text. And first we're going to go over a couple different elements. Uh, first we're going to go over the strong element. So let's go ahead and create a P element and close the P element. Oops. And then we're going to say, you know, hi, I am a web developer or something. Web designer. And then let's say that we want this to be strongly emphasized, usually bolded. So we're going to say strong. You see there that it has been found. And then here with this end, we're going to go and finish the strong. So now when we go over here, it says, hi, I am a web designer. It is bold. Yeah. So let's say that we want to also, uh, so, so that's one portion of it. Let me go ahead and expand this just a tiny bit. Uh, let's go like there. Okay, so now that is a strong, and now let's go over another semantic markup such as emphasis, which is um, the the element em, and you close the em, and then you say you know hi, it should be italicized, and there you go, it's italicized. So that's emphasis, and it, and of course all these uh, really um, pertain to what browser you're using. It all depends on that. Now let's say that we do something like a, a block quote. So now we want to do a block quote. So we're going to say block quote. And then we're going to explain in an element where you can find the block quotes, we're going to say HTTP, and then we're going to say mysite.com, and the quotation, and then we're going to go ahead and put in the block quote. Yeah, I don't like how this is. Let me let me expand it a little bit. Okay. So now we're going to go into the block quote and we're going to say, um, let's say that this is a review from some guy on your site and it says, this is a really good website. Uh, thanks for posting it. And then let's say, you know, Steven, right? Now, when we end the block quote, just like that it has it indented out here so that way it, you see that the the P's here are just just sitting there and the block quote is putting this in a block and pushing it out to the side and of course this also varies depending on the browser most of the time it will do exactly what you're seeing here and then uh, we have the Q element which is basically a quote so it automatically puts stuff in quotation marks. So it's just a, a Q. So let's say we got rid of this block quote. We got rid of this block quote. And we said that we wanted a Q here. And a forward slash Q there. Hmm. I wonder what happens. It might be because it's not exactly. Huh. It, it might it might be just that um, Dreamweaver doesn't want to do this, but if you do it in Optana and you probably open it in a separate site, it will do that. So these are the quotations. So basically what will happen is it basically does this except for in this case you are saving it to 
the the text uh, not the text editor but the the website reader that this is a quote right and it you know just so that you're registering that it's a quote and it because it doesn't know what quotations are so if you tell it that it's a quote then it will know it's a quote and it will continue on so now we have uh, abbreviation so abbreviation is going to say um, basically an abbreviation is what you see a lot when you have something that's uh, um, how can I say um, you know abbreviation like uh, RAM random access memory right so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to say title I spell it right title equals so we're going to say title equals um, we're going to say random access memory and that guy so that guy's good and then we're going to say um, I'm going to say RAM and we're going to close it and then we're going to surround this with P's here P closing P now basically what would happen is that if you hover over this guy like like you're seeing here if you hover over him it will say um, um, it will it'll say the whole thing so if you hold over this guy and, and, and you're in your web browser which in this case in Dreamweaver is not doing but if you hold your mouse over it it'll tell you what it is random access memory what the abbreviation means so, that, so that's really cool um, to in order to uh, you know make your readers better understand some of your acronyms if you want to have shortcuts or whatever things like that now we'll go ahead and get rid of this guy since this guy doesn't really no really want to work right now and if you notice these are attributes so this title here is an attribute and um, yeah so it should be working but in this case I guess the the um, I guess uh, Dreamweaver here doesn't really do that so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this then since it's not really doing what we want it to do and reuse that and we're gonna do the site and we're gonna close the site and now a site is basically what you would have for uh, a piece of work such as a book research paper film um, and it indicates where it's also from so so if you're pulling information from elsewhere just say like you know um, legit tech tutorials and it just puts it in italicized so if you have something else after this you know then the rest of the stuff is just there and but the legit tech tutorials is italicized so you'd have books like that in italicized that where you have a site here so the next one is DFN known as the defining uh, instance of a of a um, a a definition so let's say let's say the same thing again you probably won't be able to see it probably won't change anything DFN and then let's say um, um, legit tech tutorials um, and then let's say uh, YouTube channel explaining YouTube channel of tutorials on tech so now when you do this it's saying you know what is defining what legit tech tutorials is so on this guy it seems to uh, italicize now it depends on like I said it depends on which browser but in this case, on Dreamweaver, it is italicizing um, legit, legit uh, tech tutorials. So that's kind of cool. 
Now we only have a couple more left. Okay, so now we're going to go over the definition. Um, I mean, not the definition, sorry, the address uh, tag or element. So that is abbreviated. Uh, first, we got to do it before. So we're going to say address. Now this is what you're going to use to define a um, email. So this is when you see an email and it has the it has the underline underneath it and it and it could be clickable. That's what this is here. So here after address, we're going to go ahead and indent this guy, and then go up to this guy, and then we're going to say here a h h r e f equals mail to the legit uh, legit tech tutorials at gmail.com now you close the parentheses there and you close oops and you close the tag and then you're going to type in what it says just in case this doesn't work. So we're going to say legit tech tutorials at gmail.com. So that's going to be in between. And then we're going to close the A tag. AH reference, as you see here, it's putting it in green. Very cool. And then we're going to go ahead and close that P tag. Now, as you see there, now it's got a clickable element to go to the, the email for this channel. Oops. So now, uh, you see it's clickable. It's got that blue that blue uh, looking font, and it's got the, the, under, uh, the underline there. So if you click on it, it would go to your default mail application, and people will be able to um, click, um, you know, Click on your on your on your stuff, but then also, of course, you want to finish the address. Oops. So there's the closing of the address, and that's it. And now uh, you'd also want to have um, your 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 home address. Oops. So you know you put your home address in here. And then it would go there like that. So it would be your your email and then where you're located. So that would be the complete address. And it's a and um, it, a standard browser would probably have this in ital uh, italicized. Now we have uh, the basic couple two here, which is going to be insert and delete. So it's uh, you do the p. Oops, I guess I have cap lock on. P, and then you close the P. And then you're going to say, um, Hello, my name is Paul. And then you're going to go ahead and put delete. Oops, DL, DL, and close the DL. And see it deleted Paul. So that is a delete, and then you're gonna say, you know, give it a space, and you're gonna say insert. Ooh. Let me get out of the design portion. So we're gonna say space, and we're gonna say insert, and then we're gonna close the insert, and we're gonna say, you know, Steven. So then the insert is automatically underlined, so it has this as slashed out. So that is the delete. And then you have insert, which is INS, and then you close INS, and then you put what you want to insert in, in between those two, L in between the elements. So here you see the starting element, and here you see the closing element, and there is my name in between. And then also you could do um, the S. The S is basically uh, means that something is no longer relevant. Same thing as the delete. So let's say like um, 
So let's say like, you know, today's date or whatever. So today's date is, you know, today is, or let's do yesterday's date, um, 14. And then we're going to put that in an S. So this is going to be the closing S. This is going to be the starting S. And as you see, it puts a whole, it puts a line through the whole thing. So that is kind of the same thing as insert or delete, but it's telling the browser that whatever's in between those that element there is no longer relevant. So that's kind of uh, why you would have something like that. So uh, that's basically it for this particular tutorial, and uh, we'll see how it goes um, next tutorial with it, which is going to be. Um, going over the practice, some more practice with this, and uh, maybe even delve into some of the previous, the previous tutorials and use some of that content. As you see, we're using P a lot, but we could also use, you know, horizontal line break, uh, uh, just break, and things like that, and uh, uh, bold, italicized, all that kind of stuff. All right, so I'll see you next tutorial. So this has been Steven from uh, Legit Tech Tutorials. Please subscribe for more series like these. And subscribe for the next video uh, to be um, updated with the next video in this tutorial. Stay tuned for more of my series coming out very, very soon. And I like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next tutorial. Thanks.